I thought it was a stupid haircut. All right, this is more like how Anton Sugar starts out. He's, I mean, obviously he's stolen a cop car, but he's, like, being arrested. We don't really know what for. But, um, actually, I'm just going to kind of take the key out of the ignition here. Um, yeah, lose the beanie. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the hiking bag, because why, I mean, it's just going to be useful. Um, okay, so we've got a lot in our trunk. We've got a can of gas got purses. We don't really need that. I don't even really think that we need the school bag that much, but we'll hang on to it. We've got a couple cans of food. I think I've got the car running. Let's uh, fuel this thing up, and we'll add in whatever gas that we can use for the journey here. But there should be a gun store down the road. Are you winning, son? <laughs> here it goes. Alright, so we put that in there. Whoops, wrong thing. I, I do believe that they're going to do another inventory overhaul. Or at least that's in, like, their plan notes. Uh, I saw somebody do the hot bar mod. That looked pretty neat. I was like, there's an idea. Sometimes the good ideas do come from the mods. I have no shoes? Wait, did I, did I leave my shoes? No, I'm pretty sure he's... I'm pretty sure I'm wearing shoes. Oh, shit, I got on socks, baby. <laughs> All right. Actually, you know what? <laughs> You know what? It's okay, because Anton Shiger, uh he is wearing socks, actually, at one point. Uh, so as to not make noise in the deputy station. Well, we'll kill one zombies, and I've made it a long way without shoes before, too. No shoes challenge. I was thinking a while back of playing Zomboid without any uh, keyboard input. I th Like, it can be done. It can be done without using your keyboard. I'm pretty sure. There might be a couple things that you can't do, but... Like, you can walk. You can do almost everything that you need to do. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is get Anton outfitted with a weapon, if possible. We're not getting any weird errors on the bottom right of the screen, so I... I don't think we have any funny business going on. We're at... Oh, what is this place called again? Yeah. Again, I don't really want to look at any maps, but I think we're... Just west of Riverside. Yep. This is one of Ghoul King's main areas. This is one of his haunts. Alright, so probably for us, we're going to want to gas up and then head back down to that gun store. The one that I went to last time, except this time, I feel like that this character is a little bit better off starting out. Because he doesn't have all of that, like, you know, short of breath BS that we had to deal with from before. So I, th I feel like that he'll fail better. No, not fail better. Fare better in this kind of situation. Though there are a lot of zombies here. Again, I know I just ran over a zombie, but we want to take good care of the car. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, completely uh, the opposite of everything that I'm doing. I just steal these sneakers. And, uh... Actually, you know what? We could use the gas can. Let's just nab that out of here. There it is. Alright, take fuel. We could go directly from it, but... Eh. What's the use? I'm through the all bad traits playthrough. Ah, the all bad traits. See, the thing is about doing a bad traits playthrough is that you learn to play the game way better. I remember playing as the all negative traits character and be like, alright, doesn't take uh, 40 stomps to kill anybody now. <laughs> like, just, I felt like I was so much better at the game after having done that. It's a good challenge. Though the one issue with some of the uh, damage systems in Zomboid, I don't know if you'd really call this an issue, but it's just the fact that, like, I had reached a point where I almost died of cuts on my feet. Like, <laughs> so there are there are some wacky things like that that happen. Um, so I think that's another thing that they've talked about overhauling, too. All right, so I think we're gassed up now. Add gas. Can we still keep adding more? We'll just take out as much as we can from this. Because we probably won't get a lot more gas for a while. Though, fortunately, we do. Okay, great. That's about all that we can use. All right, so let's just toss that gas can in the trunk. We won't need that for a while. Um, did I put... Ooh, I put it on the corpse. See, that's something that you could easily miss. Very easy to miss that. 
I think that's pretty much everything that we need from our trunk. Uh, might carry the orange soda with me, though also, too, are we going to be able to get any water from this place? I mean, it would help for the journey ahead, only because we might spend a long time at the station we're going to go to. It has a gun store, but it also has presumably a lot of zombies at it. Cookies, okay. Um, another empty gas can, pop, wrench, all of that's going to help. Um, haven't really just taken care of one car in any of my playthroughs. Kind of guilty of that. I, I really would like to take better care of one car. I think Lime did that recently in his mechanic series. I thought that was a neat idea, you know. There's something like, uh, there's something that uh, seemingly of good citizenship about taking good care of one car. <laughs> the videotape? Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. Mainly I just, uh, what was it? Wilderness survival? If I'd gotten like sneaking or something like that. Should probably learn more about that one. Actually, let's go back out and check that videotape. My main thing is I don't want to weigh myself down with heavy items. Not really that heavy, though. I just lose so much trunk space. Exposure Survival Episode 7. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually grab that. That's a good idea. Alright, I think we can head back out to the car. Unfortunately, we don't have a screwdriver. We're already thirsty, but we can just drink this. I was hoping more to find a source of water. Um... Let's put that on the ground. Yeah. One thing for me, I, I in, I'm going to enjoy streaming this a little bit more, I think, for multiplayer, only because when I'm making videos, I'm sort of thinking more about what are the visuals. But now I'm actually, like, playing the game in a smart way. <laughs> I don't always do that. <laughs> um, oftentimes, I'm just kind of playing for the spectacle, but it's, uh, it's or, or for the story sometimes. But it's nice to just kind of play it like CDDA, which... I mean, that's what Zomboid is heavily based on, CDDA, so... And CDDA is fun! Do you guys play CDDA? I like it. Do we have... We do... Now we have extra junk in the trunk. Upgraded. Are we, are we able to wash cars? I, I'm just... I don't like the blood on the car. I, I, I would like to keep the car from getting all of that blood on it. And now they have the whole uh, dirt and grime system in the game as well, so that you can, like, get crap on your shirt. It looks like literal crap a little bit, but I, I was just staying inside in one of my playthroughs and there was crap on my shirt. And I was like, did I just, did I just crap myself? Like, <laughs> it could be. I mean, you know, defecation hasn't been added into the game yet, but there's always room. Oh, great, we've got the cooking show. Okay, peanut butter, kitchen knife, now we're cooking with fire. <laughs> See what I did there? Guess what? <laughs> we're cooking with... Talking about cooking. Oh, coffee, a great find. Except it's going to make us thirsty AF. Two, two times the coffee. Okay, that's great. That means we'll be kicking longer. Now, if only I had spare wheels and a spare trunk and spare everything because the car is going to be destroyed after what we do with it. I, w I do wonder, genuinely, if Pillow adds in respawning zombies to these starts. Because that was what actually drove me crazy about the uh, Gerald Williams start. And one of the reasons why I ended it was because it was just getting too hard to play. Um, zombies would respawn as soon as I cleared out an area. Channel definitely has a certain theme to it. Nice to see some of the raw gameplay on stream. Yeah, I, you know, I, I kind of want to bring that stuff back. Because I'm like, alright, we've done the editing <laughs> I do like editing. I like editing as a as a hobby into itself. But um, you know, I I wouldn't want it all to be totally edited. What I'm kind of taking from right here, I don't know if any of you guys watched Pestilli because he did uh, Zomboid recently. I kind of like the way that he organizes content on his channel. So he has like his Twitch, and then he also has uh, he also has his channel where he posts some of the VODs. Now, I wouldn't really do that with my main channel, because my main channel I would want to kind of be edited stuff, but... Yeah, I would totally be down to put stuff like this on the VODs channel, so... Again, uh... uh I, I think just the mindfulness that it's going to be a VOD later kind of forces me to... organize my thinking a little bit better, or narrate better. Because, I don't know, I, I don't want to just... I don't know, like, like, when I very first started YouTubing... 
I would get stressed from streaming because I would feel like I was presenting for the whole time. But now I find it relaxing. And I, I just, I don't know, I, I want to cultivate more of that mindfulness again. All right, so we've got some decent books here. Actually, the cooking will take. It's good to slow down when you play Zomboid, though. I mean, it, it just made me mindful of the fact that when I started playing about a half hour ago, I was kind of going fast. But I just enjoy this game. <laughs> you can find a base. And that, this thing's going to break in three seconds. I mean, instruments are terrible weapons in this game. I don't know why they went to so much effort of modeling them. Maybe because it makes it like Dead Rising. I really wish that the guitars played chords, though, when you smash somebody with it. I know bass, you would just get a deep note, not a chord. I do actually play a lot of guitar in real life. <laughs> yeah, the zombies were ridiculous, and also they seem to roam so far. Honestly, watch them walk in the main street in Muldron. Yeah, you can lower zombie memory in Zomboid, too, actually. Speaking of which, that's a good point, Crazy Muffin. Because uh, a lot of people find something that they hate about... The I, I find Zomboid is a game that can make a lot of people frustrated. Um, but there are some settings you can tweak. One that I really like to turn off is big groups. Only because they're added in there to make the game um, more challenging. Which, challenging games are fun, but I, I think there's a, a big difference between challenging and frustrating. And it does toe that line, and I think it's a very... I don't I don't really know how game designers deal with this, but it seems like a tough uh, a line to tread. A to toe, or rather, I mean. Isn't that the idiom, to toe the line? Yeah. It's toe in the line. I sound like a crazy person. The base is the best weapon ever. No way. <laughs> the base breaks. It. I bet you it's halfway. To, I bet you it's halfway done. Unless if I'm wrong and I just have been using. Uh, maybe I'm generalizing. Though at the same time, you know what? Like, whether it's a bass guitar. Or an acoustic guitar. I would rather have the bass guitar because it's not hollow, first off. Um, and also because generally just heavier and has a longer handle. Assuming that it has a good truss rod in it. Um, and it won't just snap. Now we could live over here and live down by the river, you know? We could uh, <laughs> live in a van here. Down by the river. Hello. My name is Matt Foley. Oh god. I still I still miss seeing Chris Farley do that. That was a great sketch. I think that was the first time I ever pissed my pants laughing <laughs> as a kid when I watched like a, a sketch show. That was probably the funniest thing. For some reason the second they see the whole family and their extended family wants to say Oh of the zombies? Yeah. Well, the way that zombies are programmed into the game is that there's one, I don't know if this is still operative, but I remember reading this somewhere, is that one zombie in every group that you see is the horde leader. And that whenever it gets aggroed, the rest of the group will follow it. Um, so be mindful when you're, you know, like if you see a big group of zombies, the best way to approach them is to sneak around um, and use visibility and not hearing to, depending upon the way that they're facing actually, use visibility and not hearing to kind of bite them off one at a time. But be mindful that you don't get the leader and know when you did accidentally attract the leader to you because the leader is gonna lead, well, obviously lead all of the rest to you. Um, do I guitar because I think it makes me look cool? Um, I don't know, I play guitar. Actually, the reason why I play guitar I picked it up when I was 19 was because I didn't feel like I had any other artistic talent. Like, I could write decently well, but I just felt like that was so generic. Um, and I wanted something that was more individual to me. Um, which, obviously, the guitar is, like, the most kind of generic white guy instrument. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I took that up, but I, I just like the timbre of it. Yeah. Now, I, I wish I had learned to play piano, but uh, uh, they're good for different reasons. I, in particular, I like a lot of bossa nova. That's why you hear a lot of bossa nova on the channel. Never I play anything. Tar would be too unwieldy to be a good weapon. I mean, obviously, there's other things that you would want. Like, I would 
I would take a pot or a pan better because they just hold up better. But we've got a fishing rod now. We could live here at the lake. The duck may swim on the lake, but my daddy owns the lake. Honestly, just like camping out here might be, might be pretty nasty. I've never lived like this before. It just seems kind of nice. I want to put up my tent. You know, I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to put up my tent. I know it's it's not a great place to live, but at the same time, uh, it looks neat. It does. It looks neat. Let's get it done. Watch some of my old art videos and thought it was neat. So I'm saying I don't have artistic talent. Uh, it took a while. To, well, actually, I did that afterward. My grandma was an artist. Um, she did like vodka, vodka art. I can't remember. She didn't like the uh, character for some vodka company. That was her kind of claim to fame. I'm going to I'm gonna say a little point of criticism is that I think that the water looks too good. Or it looks too 3D. Though I think that when they add in more of the like shaders and stuff, the water will kind of fit in more. I'm looking forward to that. Though there's something really it's kind of enchanting about the pixel art of this game that I really hope it never loses. And I don't think that it will. But I mean, Zomboid has some really neat pixel art. And if you ever analyze it, which I did for a while, like I tried to copy it, um, it, it seems as if it was made by different people at different times. And I always kind of wondered about the pixel art in Zomboid. I, I've never spoken to the Indie Stones artist about this, but I'm, I'm like, I'm, I just have so many questions. Um, okay, we don't have campfire kit, but that's fine. We have three orange sodas. <laughs> Let's just drink one. Bossa Nova? Really? I didn't even know that it meant barefoot. Damn. Zomboid art is... Yeah, Zomboid's art is like... Is that... Ah, that chef's kiss, you know? As they say. Now, we've got a source of water here. Um, all we really need is a campfire and something to boil it in. I really think that the way that you're meant to play this game is more like Cataclysm. And after I watched Vormithrax play uh, Cataclysm, he plays Cataclysm very, very mindfully. Um, oh, shit. Let's grab that. I hate having broken glass lying around, only because it, it does wear out the condition of your shoes. Um, but after I watched Vormithrax, who's just, like, very careful... I liked watching Vormithrax. I wish that there was more demand for the type of content that Vorm creates, like the kind of more slow-paced, like well-thought-out stuff. Um, but yeah, that's how I think you're meant to play Zomboid, which is like literally looking at which way are the zombies facing and like everything down to that little minutia in questions. Um, like you're really supposed to make use of everything. Don't play fast. Don't play fast, guys. Five guys and a cat made the game. <laughs> oh, my grandma liked vodka. No, she uh, she worked for a vodka company, though. I, I imagine that she must have had her fair share of vodka, having worked for... I hope she had a good time working for this company. Yeah, she did some art for them. Um, okay, let's just lay out these bowls on the ground. Feels like an almost... Here we go. Yeah. I mean, even like the sprite art, that's something that they've spoken about getting rid of and replacing with more 3D models like the characters. And I could see how that would make sense. But at the same time, there's something I really like about seeing the 2D sprites. And I I imagine that you'll be able to change the game back and forth to those old settings. I just hope that they make it interchangeable um, because it would really be nice to be able to play with some of those legacy options. In fact, I do think that they leave out the or that they leave in the option to play in old builds. So it's kind of like Minecraft, you know. A lot of people miss the old Minecraft. I guess I just sound like an old fart now, though. The artists weren't very skilled, but after years of drawing new sprites over time, they got better as they replaced old sprites. Wouldn't surprise me. I don't really know. So all that's just... I mean, perhaps you know. I, I don't know. If, so if it were me, I would be speculating. Um, but yeah. All right, so we've got water. Um, we're pretty well off for this first day. This TV we can actually play any videos on. We can turn into life and living TV. This is going to be the best channel, so we'll always just... Okay, Woodcraft. 
Now, there used to be, and I, I don't know if this has been patched out, but when you would speed up time, you would actually not get as much experience from watching um, watching the TV network. We should see, right? Yeah, there we go. Carpentry skill up. Now, if we had the carpentry book, we could raise this skill acquisition even more, but I mean, that's plenty fast. There we go. Life and living. Now I just need a van to... Yeah, I'm going to bring over... I'm going to bring a couple vans down by the river. <laughs> we got Shake... We got Bill Shakespeare over here or something. Ah, jeez. Rest in peace, Chris Farley. Probably the funniest guy. Alright. So now they're singing the Woodcraft song. That means... I think it's over. Walk and rolls. Wait, is this the cooking... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna sleep on the couch, or it's more secure to sleep in. Yeah, we'll sleep in here. That's fine. I know the TV's on, but I don't think oh, there's too many around here. I think it's pretty remote. Six o'clock. Um, we do have wakeful, though, so I'm gonna wake up pretty fast. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go down the road. Let's see if we can hit up the gun store. See if we can make something happen there. Um, I'm not too worried about the corpses. I think those will just rot. We've got our energy back. We've got a decent weapon. I don't think it'll hold out for very long, but I don't plan on doing a lot of fighting at the gun store. I pretty much plan on doing more or less just what I did last time. How's the suffering going? Uh, I don't know. We're kind of playing as survival as a survivalist. I want. I've wanted to do a more long, well thought out series for a while, though. You know, Cromulan Archer does a very good job at like. Cromulan Archer has been playing Zomboid. For longer than I have. Which is a long time. He, he like, thinks out his entire base just so elegantly. I, I really envy that. And maybe by slowing it down, it'll, uh... It'll, it would be nice almost to just, like, have an entirely separate playthrough on the VOD channel. Maybe that's what this will be the start of. Actually, that, that seems pretty fun now that I think of it. Probably would make me better at the game, too. Where can I watch videos? If I get uh, one of the better TVs, I can't watch it on one of those old ones because it's one of those ones with just like an antenna. So I'll need to pick up another TV somewhere else. We'll need to get gas. Um, actually, you know, that hideout seems like a pretty decent place to live. Only because if you could get a generator there, then you have an unlimited source of fuel, assuming that you could get more generator parts. Which is pretty feasible, you know? Yeah, there's fishing skill in the game. We would need to dig up worms, though. I don't want to hurt my hands. So I don't really want to dig up any worms from the ground. I'll need a trowel or a shovel uh, to do that. But then I can attach one of those onto the fishing rod. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need. Um, I don't honestly know if I've ever caught a fish in Project Zomboid. That and trapping. I've just never really... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, there goes nothing. I said I was going to take good care of the car. I'm going literally 90 miles. Fuck. Just screw it. Just screw it. It's. I should never make promises. Let's make a longer playthrough. I don't really want to do a 20-part playthrough on the channel, though. Like, I could live for a long time. The videos wouldn't be that exciting, though. That's why I want to do them on the VOD channel, you know? Like, if you really want to learn the game, I, it's almost like I'm going to a different type of content creation, so... That's why I'm just going to do it on the VOD channel. Yeah. It'll still be done. It really, ideally, what I'd like it to be is multiplayer that I play. You know, I wouldn't want to be doing it single player. I, I want to play a dedicated character on a multiplayer server. Let's just attract them far away from this place. Something tells me that was pretty stupid what I just did, only because... Uh, only because they'll come out of the woods from behind the gun store, and then they'll get stuck onto the gun store. Remember, like, what happened last time? That was pretty upsetting. Do I have another? Yeah, I got the AA VODs channel. It's, uh... It's up and coming. I haven't really been putting a lot of work into it, but I, I plan to more now. All right, we'll just attract them all to the car. I think we're pretty high on energy right here. Um, let's just see if this is open. It's not. Call them out. Let's try to get everybody nearby over here. 
Now we don't want to use up our energy right now and we can walk away perfectly fine, so we're just going to continue walking. Oh yeah, on YouTube. So I, I'm probably not going to store these on Twitch or the VOD store for only 60 days, which I don't see why. I wish that they would just leave them as videos on Twitch. That would be nice. But oh well. I don't think there's tons of people combing through VODs though either. All right, here we go. Now we're going to get a big horde. Big horde coming up. Big horde. But fortunately, we're high on energy. We got everything else that we thought we'd need. And I could always just attract them away from my car. As long as I, f as long as I remember to turn off the car, which I, I think I did. Okay, now we got to be careful, though. Yeah, killing zombies instead of guinea pigs today. It's, it's kind of nice to alternate back and forth with RimWorld and Zomboid, though. Like, each one complements the other very well. Ah, uh, see. Yeah, look, a lot of them stayed back there. Well, the good news here is that if it doesn't really work out, we can always just go back to the car. Let's locate the gun store again, though. I don't even know where it was. I think it's further south down the road. Now, uh, in terms of general directions in Zomboid, yeah, I know it's isometric. The top right is north. Um, the bottom right is east. And then you can do the rest. Um, <laughs> bottom left, south. Uh, top left, west. So if I ever kind of refer to cardinal directions like that, that's what I mean. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can sneak in the back. I got one back here, but is the door open? It's locked. All right. Um, on the one hand, I could have them break down the door, but I can't envision a scenario in which I'd like to have a lot of them breaking down the door to help get... Ooh. Stand corrected. Okay. I'm just going to not look at anything, and I'm just going to throw everything into my backpack because, um, quite frankly, if I'm looking for something, I think I'm just going to run out of time. And let's just equip the... Actually, let me just equip primary. Take everything else out. And just put it all into my backpack. I'm not going to have enough room for all of this stuff, so we're just going to load up our inventory. We don't want to be over-encumbered, though, so... Uh, I regret everything. <laughs> Hang on a second. got to unpack all of this. We want to open up the back door, though, too. And just make sure that we're going to be safe when we do that. We've got all of this in our inventory. Let's throw this into the ammo crate. That's safe for now. I can't look right now, but thank you for the sub. Paul G. Luther. Paul G. Luther. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I am very grateful for that as I frantically unpack ammo. Okay, let's uh, get all of this back in here. Now, I want to get all of the guns in there. Okay, great. We could just transfer these immediately out from one to the other. This looks really sketchy, what I'm doing right now. It's really, really sketchy. Uh, Daewoo K2. Actually, I have more time than I thought I did. Let's get a gun cleaning kit. As many of those as we can grab. WD-40, you need that too. 20 times scope isn't going to be so useful at this point. Let's see if we can just find a shotgun too. I didn't even really see... Okay, ooh, submachine gun would be nice. 12 gauge drum mag. I really like this thing. I'm going to grab it. Um, uh, don't really need that that much. Aug is also... All of these are good. What I could do is drop some of this stuff on the ground. No, that one. <laughs> There's so many... You know what? The, the base doesn't matter at all. Let's just throw the base on the ground because it, nobody's, nobody's going to care if I kept a bass guitar with me. Um, uh, so many good things to choose between. I'm getting greedy, though. How fast can I... I'm way too greedy right now. I'm way too greedy. I've got to be more careful than this. I'm gonna get, is this a great way to get yourself killed? All right, let's just do it. Ooh, okay. Nope, that is the bathroom. Though, strangely, a lot of them are not actually here. Crap. Did we do this right with the exits? Ideally, I will not attract a lot of them to this place, too. Okay. 
Get out like this. Um, what's my next plan? I left the gun store before I had a plan. That wasn't very smart. I need to think very fast. I know, I'm quitting the band. Quitting the band and joining the army. <laughs> Did I grab the scar? I don't even know. To be honest with you. I, I, I didn't grab all of the cool guns because they're not always great. The best thing to start off with is just a shotgun. So that's what I wanted to make sure that I had. Um, probably the best... Did we... Okay, we did take some damage from just being over-encumbered. Probably the best course of action right here would just be to get in the driver's seat and put everything on the seats nearby. Um, good, the car is not swarmed. Let's call them. Get over to the driver's side. Carefully. Carefully. If I go down a level in terms of endurance right here... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Get in the driver's seat. Ooh, not safe enough. But we did it. 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 Hooray. <laughs> ah, that felt good. That felt really good. All right, so now I can take off all of these ammo canisters, put them into the seats next to me. Um, I'm planning on staying here for much of the night, except for the fact that I'm also winded. Should we try another one? Honking the horn could get them away. At the same time, I find that calling out and the horn, horn honking do more or less the same thing. It's a good idea, though. It's a good idea, nonetheless. Nonetheless. What mods am I using? Again, it's, uh, I put them at the beginning of the VOD, so, um, if you want to check it out, uh, I'll have it there. Most of the mods that I'm using are covered on the YouTube, uh, the recent Knox County Survivor. The main one, I guess, right here to highlight is Brita. All right, so here we go. I've got tons and tons of ammo. Um, enough to fill up almost all of the seats of the car. I don't know if I can really go back because it just doesn't seem very safe. I also don't want to do it in a stupid way because I don't want to swarm the place. But I think I might actually be able to loot this place better with whatever guns I found. And I th something tells, like, the smart voice inside of me is telling me, go home, come back with the guns, a loud gun and a quiet gun. Ooh. <laughs> And see if I could attract them even further away from the location. See what I'm saying? Like, they'll always kind of get magnetized back to the uh, the gun store. But on the other hand, you know, if we could cl Ooh, shit. I just gotta be more careful here. Do we still have headlights? We do still have headlights. Okay, let's be more careful with that. Turn on cruise control. Damn it. I am notoriously... I, I have the driving skill of a taxi driver that I spawned in. <laughs> that is that is what I have here. That is what I'm, well, that's what we're working with. See, like, I find that the most enjoyable way. Fuck. <laughs> you know, the sad part is that that negates everything I was just about to say. Uh, I, you glance away for a half a second. You need to play this game so carefully. But I get pleasure out of that, though. I, I enjoy playing games like as if it were your own life. And I, I, I'm convinced... I say this sometimes, but I'm convinced this is how you're supposed to play Zomboid. As if it were your own life. Nah, if it were my own life, I would have just stayed home. <laughs> this would have been a really boring stream. That's it. That's it. Alright, now we are injured. Um, that's only from carrying so much in our inventory. We're I mean, all we really had was encumberment. Uh, I don't think there's too many on the road now. What did we get? We did get a shotgun. Beretta A400 Excel multi-target. I don't... That sounds very good. I don't really claim to know a lot about shotguns. Um, I mean, you know, I get the basic types and reloading. I don't really know what the names of everything is, but I know how a lot of them work. <laughs> At least in the game. <laughs> Not in real life. In the game. Because um, it's very similar to Brita. Um, Chris Vector, s and 45 ACP. I'm just trying to see what rounds we got in terms of ammunition. I made sure to get a couple of shotgun shells because that's going to be our best bet here starting off. Um, okay, what I'm, it's too bad we didn't get a holster, but what I'm planning on doing, all right, we are hitting the end of the road now. What I'm planning on doing is just getting an ass load of shotgun shells. Maybe like a, I don't know, whatever's the next most beginner weapon, like a rifle or uh, 
don't know, like a submachine gun. Something that I can get. A submachine gun might not be a great example. I don't honestly know what is the next best thing after a rifle, after a shotgun, though. I imagine it'd be a rifle, but we do have a choke. That's not really going to help us. We don't even, oh, uh, no, I take that back. It's not going to help us. Probably going to use the Beretta for this. DT-11. This one's got a laser sight. And, oh, this one's actually got a lot of attachments on it. You know, I might use this DT-11, though it's got only two, room for only two shells. This one has a 20 times scope attached. We'll never be using it. Okay, Fra Franchi, Spaz-12 with the fixed stock. This looks like the best shotgun for us, actually, aside from the fact that it's very overweight. Um, and just for God's sake, did I get some shells for this thing? Can I have my, uh, digitally sign my AA form from the court since I showed up for your sh Absolutely. Yeah, just, uh, I'll give you my digital signature, which is just typing in my name. <laughs> How long can I live without leaving the starting home? Oh, that was going to be one we were going to try a while back. Yeah, don't leave one house. Okay, oh, fuck, we got to turn off the car. I'm not going to regas so much because I don't think we're really going to be that low on gas. I'm more worried about power. Grab this ammo. We've got plenty of ammo, but I really don't think that we got enough shotgun shells. We got maybe one or two things. If we had... Oh, wait a minute. Now here, this might work. Let's see if this is going to happen. Okay, we did get a drum mag. I made sure to get this drum mag there because this thing is fire. It's very good. Um, you get 20 shotgun shells per mag on this thing. It's very nice. Um, hey, Adam here. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Very grateful. Hey, Adam here. We know you're there, Adam. We know you're there. All right. Uh, let's see. Beretta DT-11. Uh, I don't really know too much. But see, we probably want to drop off the other ones back at our house. I think we'll just keep this hour base. This is extremely peaceful and serene here. It is tranquil in this location. Um, where should we keep our guns? I saw some shelves upstairs. I figure we'll just put everything in there. I can see this is... Yeah, this could be the beginning of a new series. A beautiful new series. Except just, you know, totally unedited. <laughs> Alright, let's see what can use drum mag. Beretta, if anything... Take down, equip in both hands. Can this use it? And nothing can use... Oh, fuck. <laughs> nothing can use the drum mag. Okay, I take all of that back. Um, and let's take out the kettle and the fork from here because we don't need those. I'm still going to use the Spaz-12 because it seems pretty decent. Of the YouTube comments. I love the way you narrate it. Keep up the amazing work. Hey, thank you very much, Adam. Appreciate it. Hmm. Will do. Will do. I'm looking forward to this Project Zomboid multiplayer. This is going to be... This is going to be the hunt, guys. You know how they have the hunt, but, like, for animals? Out in England? If you're from England? Don't you guys have the hunt? Do you have the hunt? <laughs> Maybe, like, before Thanksgiving. I, I know I'm essentializing England right here, but at the same time, it's just, like... It's, uh... <laughs> it's not really doing any harm to anyone. <laughs> ah, the hunt. Yeah, but except for players. I, I used to get killed a lot in um uh, in Project Zomboid. In multiplayer servers. It was uh it wasn't nice to get up all of your skills and then somebody shoots you from out of a supermarket and hiding. Alright, we've got a lot of um where do we keep our food though? I I think it's still all in the trunk of our car. Brought Beretta made shotguns. What map is this? Uh, we've got on a couple different map mods. We're still in the vanilla zone right here. It's just like a far-flung northwestern corner of the map on vanilla. But um, there's a lot to explore. I've made it so that this playthrough is pretty much bottomless. We've got on Raven Creek. Um, that's the one I'm most excited for. Now, are we still morbidly obese? We actually might not. Yeah, I don't want to eat that much. It would do me some good to eat a lot of berries in the woods now. Um, a lot of people will see the peckish moodle and think that, you know, they need to eat. Um, I learned a lot about that in the negative traits series. <laughs> no, you shouldn't eat, probably, because I start off hyper overweight. Um, it's actually okay to have that there. You don't want the really hungry one, and it helps to have nutritionists because then you can manage your macronutrients. Um, 
there are macronutrients in Project Zomboid. I think the ones that really matter are carbohydrates and fats. For example, worms have a, have a lot of protein. Um, I'm probably going to say a couple things wrong here. So they, well, they do have a lot of protein in them, but not a lot of carbs or fats, at least in Zomboid. So you can't really get fat off of eating worms. Like I did a test once where I ate, like I spawned in like 3,000 worms for myself. I ate 3,000 worms. Um, it doesn't hurt anyone except the animals. Well, yeah, there's that. I did a test once in Zomboid, though, where I ate 3,000 worms in dev mode. Um, I didn't throw up. I didn't feel sick. I think that they should probably add in that as a patch. <laughs> but, all right. Um, But anyway, I didn't get fat. It took me about 10,000 worms to get fat. And at that point, it was more like eating celery in real life. You know how when you eat celery in real life... Um, you're actually burning more calories by chewing it than it contains, or I don't, maybe this is like an urban myth, but the idea, the idea holds, you know, their macronutrients will live just off of mayonnaise. No, honestly, mayonnaise, um, butter, ice cream in Zomboid, there's no sense of muscle mass or fat. Um, the game knows only weight. So, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll get updated one day, but <laughs> can you imagine like your character shows his musculature i think that would be a really neat update i wouldn't be honestly wouldn't be surprised if they talked about that in something but um all right we're a little bit packaged but that's actually a good thing i'm gonna get ready to sleep because it's 5 30 a.m i'm a pretty light sleeper but i'm good what's the maximum weight i character can a character can get in pz i don't actually know um not sure if there is one I guess whatever you could, whatever's like the max amount of ice cream that you could have over time. It's, I think it's more about how much time would pass. Or I imagine that there wouldn't be, I have no idea though. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Body converts excess protein to fat. Really? I did not know that. Can't your body also, I don't really know about this one, but can't your body also use fat as fuel to make more muscle? Is that true or is that just false? I don't, I, I don't want to spread it if it's misinformation. But I, I was watching uh, Athlete and X because I, I don't know what you guys think of Athlete and X. I was just like fitness channel, spending a lot more time exercising these days. But I, I thought that's what he said. He seemed pretty smart. <laughs> Protein doesn't matter. How am I going to hit the squat PRs? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would like to see a system like that in the game. Like, in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, there's this whole system where you don't actually feel full after you eat food. Um, it takes you a little while, because you know how in real life, yeah, like, it, you know, you could be eating for a few minutes, but you still don't really feel full. Um, it's in Cataclysm. I wouldn't be surprised to see in, in PZ, but it's, sometimes it can just feel like, like, what is fun for a game anymore, you know? Like, that kind of existential questioning can come up, and it's not, not quite as much fun. You know what, let's organize our canned goods down here. Hey, uh, RC Sync, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate that. Grateful, my friend. Let's get all of our canned foods and non-perishables in here. Use carbohydrates first, then fat for energy. I What I mean is um, fat from your body. Yeah, I have. I really don't know enough about nutrition. It's interesting, though. But there's There's all kinds of stuff going on there. Annoying, complex, annoyingly complex. Yeah, CDDA can get like that, though. I, I would agree that it can get to a lot of players to be just too much, that it's too realistic and just not fun anymore. Um, I think that there are... I wouldn't be surprised to see somebody modding that for Zomboid, though. You know, one thing that I think will be great for Zomboid is when the game is finally stabilized. Like, RimWorld's modding scene really blossomed. Um, it blossomed. It thrived. <laughs> I could sound like a child at a at preschool, but um, yeah, it did. It blossomed when um, when the game hit 1.0, and when it hit 1.1, a lot of the mods then became unstable, and people had to update. Um, and you know, things can't stay that way forever. But at the same time, it'll be nice for Zomboid when it finally does stabilize, and uh, I I'm looking forward to that. I guess is all I'm trying to say. Hungry. Now we want to keep off hungry, but we don't want to eat high calorie foods. Um, so what is light in calories? See, canned tomato 
has 90 calories as opposed to spaghetti bolognese, which has 540. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just eat this canned tomato. Um, very light in calories, very heavy item. I never actually realized this until Private Lime has been doing a... Um, Lime is a very sneaky, smart boy. Um, and you go tell him that I said that. Um, <laughs> now, Lime is a very good friend of mine. Um, what was I going to say? But he's doing a, a tutorial series. I was actually glad to see some tutorial series, and I'm learning from it. Uh, canned tomato. Really is not that great of food. But for fat people, canned tomato, tomato is great. If anybody really knows anything about diet. Yeah, I mean, isn't it supposed to be that about diet that like if you eat foods when you're in like a certain mood even like it comes down to very minute things like that about digestion i've still got the trunk open here okay i don't think i'm even gonna be able to grab this much from this looting run but i'm just going to um i'm gonna go with a couple of other items in my trunk with some drunk in my trunk so to speak yeah Alright, now, this is a place I'm fairly confident will never see assaulted. Oh, I almost left all of the shotgun shells here. Well, that would have been great. <laughs> um, all of the other stuff I'm just going to leave on the ground because I don't really want to stay here much longer. I have to get out of here and do something else. I'm going to grab a little bit of a bite to eat only because... Wait, fish filet. Fresh cooked. Oh, awesome. We don't have the caloric content on that, but it's fine. Uh, I thought I had Nutritionist. Do I have Nutritionist? I do. Not. I do not have Nutritionist. That is unfortunate, because Nutritionist is one of the best traits, and it's one that you can't really replace with anything else. Fat is pretty much biologically interchangeable with muscle. You just need proteins and energy. Um, sugars, carbohydrates, require an extra step from viewer. Yeah, I don't really know how it works, so I'm not prepared to give a big speech on it or anything, but... Truly something I would like to learn more about. One thing I'll say is that I appreciate that they go to that length in the game to kind of simulate some effects of, you know. Like, for instance, you wouldn't bulk off of worms and berries unless if you're Tarzan or something, which maybe you are. In which case, I welcome it. I'd like to see a playthrough. Ooh. You know, I just, I gotta stop. I really gotta stop with that. <laughs> All right. Are those ty are these types of turns bad for the wheels? I really need to analyze my own bad driving cuz when cars were first introduced to the game, there is a video, it's one of the first videos that I still have public on my channel. Um I I left this video up because it shows the original car physics. Cars behaved like hot air balloons when they first did the beta test. They were so much fun. Um and then when they were actually balanced and released, I was like, oh, man, the cars just don't flip over anymore when they have, whenever they hit a horde of zombies. Um, they were a lot of fun. <laughs> but then cars were made much more realistic. And I was like, oh, you can't just run your car into giant herds of zombies. So I still kind of use them in that way. So I do apologize for that. Do as I say, not as I do with the cars, please. No worry so much about what I eat. I need enough fibers and nothing else. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's good to just eat more vegetables. Eat more vegetables. Made some spinach today. Steamed spinach. Steamed spinach is delicious. Now, I, I'm assuming that this fish fillet has a lot of protein in it, but again, I don't think that... Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. I am allowed only to use the cruise control. 50 miles an hour max. Chad, if I go over 50 miles an hour... I don't know. Chastise me or something. Chastise me. I, you know, but it's okay because I did it at 50 miles an hour. 35 miles an hour. You know, I looked at chat for a second. That was the issue. That was the issue there. It's not you, it's me. Don't worry. It's, it's me. 35 miles an hour is plenty. We're going to have a good time today. We're going to have a safe time. We're going to have a very safe drive. Okay, maybe 40. I trust myself a little bit more now. Now, the reason why I'm weaving like a child on a bicycle is because I just don't want to run over any zombies. 
They'd kill your tires. That's the worst thing you could do is driving over corpses for your car. I once tried to make a corpse pile that I could go off of, like a jump. Ooh, this is what we caused before. All right, roll them down. Here's what we're doing. Open the windows. Fuck. Uh, where, where did I put the shot? Oh, did I put the shotgun shells in the trunk? Please tell me that I brought them with me. Otherwise, there are more in the gun store right here, but let's just... Hang on, I'm not even going to turn off the car. Did I leave them in the trunk? Fuck. I left them back at the house. Alright. You know what, I accept it. It's fine. We made our way in there like, uh... Like a sneaky boy before. We're going to make our way in there like a sneaky boy again. Yeah, see, look how quickly they got de aggroed for me. I can always just enter from the woods like a snake in the grass. It's okay. It's all right. We're getting by. We're getting by. But I am going to eat this delicious and nutritious fi fish fillet out here. I really made a point to leave to bring those with me, I thought. All right, great. We still got the weight going down despite the fact that we're full to bursting. Probably means that that was a low-calorie food. I don't really have it memorized, but... Yeah, forgot the ammo. <laughs> On the other hand, too, it might actually be for the best, because I didn't want to rile up this area. The main goal here still is to just get more get more ammo. Like, we don't have anywhere near enough ammo. We'll make our way over to the military base once we have some stuff, but we need stuff to get the military base. Know what I'm saying? Like, if we don't have anything, then we can't have more things. Like, it's the first thing that we need to get. It's, it's not semantics. I'm just, I'm just talking right now. All right, gotta be careful here. Make sure we don't run into any hordes. But this is actually a great way to go in. Oh fuck! They broke down the back door. It's gonna lead them out a bit. Slow down. And as long as I don't run into one right here. Good. Okay. All right. Beep. Fuck. There's two in there. Fuck, 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 fuck. Good. Alright, I'm gonna grab the rest of what's in here. It's kind of a, more of a nail biter than I expected it to be. And everything here. And then we run back to the car. The doorway looks safe. That's good. I just want to get everything out of these cases first. There's so much in these cases. Um still more here. I'm willing to be... Nope. That's enough. I'm gonna open this. Fuck. We might have lost it now. Did we at least get something in that ammo crate? Alright, we have a couple more rounds. Not really shotgun shells, but we have enough to get by here. And if we get a police station too, I'm convinced that we'll be good with ammo. I've just gotta do some ammo management on my way into the military base. Yeah, the old circle technique. I was actually a little bit uh, more of a close shave than I had intended it to be. But we did it. We got through. I've just, I've done so many of those. The thing is with Build 41 is that you get this weird new animation where whenever you turn, it takes your character a second. Um, this was how I died in the last series with the Knox County thing. Because, oh no, I, I just didn't see a roadblock in that one. That was why I died. But... You're better off circling than quickly changing direction if you're running. It's like a weird... You have to learn all these little things about the animation system, which is the one thing I, I hope gets fixed more, or I hope gets tweaked more. Um, I think they're better than when the build was first released, but they're still a little bit there. Oh, yep, yeah, we said, uh, what did we say? 45 miles an hour. 45 miles an hour now. Okay, this will be better. <laughs> Okay, now I think I have enough guns that I'm... Like, I'd like to do some inventory management when I get back. And actually start clearing out an area. It would be nice if I could kill the zombies and not just look at them all whenever we go to a place. Um, but the amount of ammo I would need to clear out that place wouldn't be worth it. And really, the one place that is worthwhile in terms of ammo and how much it takes to clear it out 
is probably the military base. The military base is actually stacked. Um, I was amazed that Fort Redstone had that much. Like, Fort Redstone should not have as much as it does. No other location in the game has that much stuff. And we drank all of that water. Am I going to crash again? No, that's why I'm going si only 60 miles an hour. I, I lied again. Only 60 miles an hour. But you know what? If I start to run over a corpse, I'm just going to do it. 65, 70, 75. Okay, here we go. Now, ultimately, I don't really want to live in this place. I'd rather live in the military base. Get an APC. Maybe make our way for Fort Redstone. Uh, not Fort Redstone. Really, Raven Creek. Raven Creek is just one of the most interesting places in the game. And I really hope that there are more cities like it by the time the game hits, uh, you know, release. It's so nice to have all these map makers. We're really, uh, we're really spoiled with good map makers for this game. Hey, Dayriff, how are you? Race walking enthusiasts will be strongest in the apocalypse. Yeah, have you ever seen these people like, uh, I used to watch a lot of Discovery Channel on as a kid. I was a weird kid, but um, anyway, there was this, <laughs> there was this special on about a woman who did like speed walking Olympics, and I was thinking like, what is, how is that different from running though? You know, like it seems like if someone started walking too fast, you would have to go, hey, you're jogging, you're disqualified. So why don't they just run? But, you know, the things I ponder with zombie. The problem is that if you start jogging, you're just, you know, your days are numbered. Your days are numbered when you start jogging in this game. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn off the music again because it makes me feel like someone is sneaking up on me. And is trying to kill me. All right. Yeah, I just wanted some quiet time at the house. Here I am. I'm at my house. Where are my shotgun shells? Did I leave those on the ground? Now, where did I leave those shotgun shells? Sneaky boy. Sneaky boy. Left those somewhere on the ground before. Did I put them in the bookcase? Not y Did I? I honestly don't know where I even put those things. I just, like, they just teleported. Where were, did anybody see those? Where did I put my shotgun shells? Speed walking makes me need to have to move one foot on the... Oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's like a good form, you know? Like, like you weren't doing breaststroke. Swimming. You know. Like, you know how they have different strokes in the Olympics? Now I'm getting kind of off topic now. Shells are in the hallway. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, someone. Thank. Excuse me. Thank you, Sentinel. Appreciate that. All right, so we got the cool shotgun shells now. Yeah, sneaky boy. All right, fortunately, this thing does have, uh, you know, eight room for eight rounds. That's pretty decent. I didn't even put anything else away. Okay, I've got five out of six. The AUG seems very good, but it has no attachments. I don't know how well it'll fare with this right now. 308, win, nade it. That seems like rare ammo. Damn. Okay. Um, what else do we get in here? 223 REM. 57 mag. I don't even know. 38 special. 45. Okay, 45 ACP we could use in the ump. Um, double stack mag. Okay, this has got 13. I feel like we would need an extended mag to make that thing worth it. We might have one. I haven't really gone through a lot of these yet, though. Um, probably going to pay off dividends later on to organize the ammo, actually. But the best thing that we can do right now is kill some shit. So let's go kill some shit because I, we've been waiting for a really long time. Let's just practice. I know this isn't going to be really worthwhile, but I just kind of want to get it out of my system, you know. Um, I'm going to do the responsible thing and leave all of the weapons on the floor. Here we go. Very responsible. Two point sling. We still don't have a screwdriver, so I, unfortunately I don't think we can attach anything yet. Um... Yeah, what the hell? Just put everything else on the ground. All of this. Do we have more? Nah, I can't even see from here. Okay, that's fine. And we got 42 more shells. So we got 50 rounds in our shotgun right now that we could use. 
kind of like playing some suitable ambient on YouTube while playing Zombo. I don't know. I've, I've yet to find my perfect playlist. Um, I might do my Epidemic Sounds playlist. I might like make something kind of moody, but um, I don't want it to be too serious and heavy. And it's like it's something that I have to kind of live with for a while. So I want to make sure I pick out the right music. I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out. For right now, I, I do like the bass Zomboid soundtrack. Sometimes it gets a little heavy on the banjo, but, uh, you know, it's because I've been playing it for a bit. All right, so we get two water bottles. It's fine. I don't think we have very high thirst, but these are really heavy in our inventory. But all we're really doing right now is just, yeah, we don't even really need the backpack. I don't even really like the way that the backpack looks, so let's just drop that off. Let's put away the hoodie, too. Anton Shigor doesn't, uh, he doesn't wear a hoodie. But he always washes his hands. Remember that? That's how the movie starts. He was washing his hands. Because he uh, kills that deputy. Yeah, very clean guy. Yeah, look, he's very fastidious right here, don't you think? Is, is that the right word, fastidious? That's what he is. I saw him, boy, the ambience is J-pop. We had the J-pop talk last time, right? Randomly pop, pop up in my recommended... In, uh, hey, thanks for checking it out, Colin. Appreciate it. Here we go. All right. Uh, Anton Shiger looking much cleaner now, actually. Not really a big fan of the purple sneakers, but, uh, you know, it's better than socks, which was what we were wearing before. We had started with literal socks. I'm kind of debating on just shooting off one round into the general direction that now we'll just speed walk it. It's kind of going to be a waste of ammunition, but at least I get to show off more of the features of, uh... Damn. I still don't quite get the 67% roll. Sad Healer explained it last time, but I don't... I feel like I misunderstood it. Is that chance to hit? And then 0 out of 100. Now, what I also read in the uh, Arsenal Gunfighter mod is that if you're farther away... Which, I don't honestly even know if it does this in base Zomboid. But, uh... It decreases your chance to hit. Yeah, that's weird. Sorry, I'm getting some, like, mouse funkiness. At 105 kg, 7 zombies killed. My favorite weapon is the red electric base still. Uh... What is our aiming and reloading at? Okay, our aiming and reloading are decent. I mean, terrible. Not decent at all, but they're at zero to start. We know where we are, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I have to activate that feature? Cryo chamber is pretty damn good for creating a darker kind of atmosphere. Yeah, no, there's a lot of, uh... Well, what I kind of highlight here is Epidemic Sound recently just, like, upped their game so much. That you could hear almost any kind of music and they keep adding in more so i'm just like yeah i'll just make a playlist on there you can save your playlist too and play them off of their browser which is nice so you don't have to do like you know youtube or spotify or anything you don't have to go through those ads just you just pay for their membership very nice service now what's telling me that we're ready to shoot is this plus sign i don't know if i mean i explained this the last time but I'll just do it again because I think it's cool. Um, the plus sign when it's there means that you're ready to shoot. If it's red, it means that your gun is jammed. If it's white, it means you're out of ammo. Um, if they're not together, it means you're not ready to shoot. I mean, you could shoot, but it just it won't be as accurate. 67% um, roll might be a 67% roll. Oh, like it's a dice roll. Oh, I was thinking like... It was something that I wasn't understanding about guns. That would make sense, though, actually. Now, I'm also wondering about what the 8 over the character means, too. Um, is that the number of shells in the... In the... I don't know what I would say here for the shotgun. I don't honestly know what you would call this. It's not really a, a chamber. They, I mean, they get fed in. What is, what is the name of that to people who know more gun terminology? In the tube? In the tube, is that is that it? You would just call it tube? Tube fed. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Is it a, it's a magazine tube? Because it doesn't actually have a magazine that you could take out. And, uh, you know, like I can't have magazines ready 
if I'm getting this. Okay, so a tube-fed shotgun. All right, neat. So that's like many more modern pump shotguns. Wait a minute. Is it even pump shotgun? No, he's not even pumping after it, though. Okay, and we know that the 12 doesn't actually mean how many are in the tube. Because, well, okay, here we go. Jam. Yeah, did you see that? So I had to press X there to unjam the gun. Um, because there aren't 12 in the tube. Quick here when loading is each shot. Okay, so then there actually is no pump. Huh, neat. Yeah, there's a lot of different types of shotguns. Like, I didn't realize how complex and, and varied the different ways of feeding bullets, or shells rather, into a shotgun are. Um, there's just so many different types. And when you can change out all the different magazines, I'm just going to keep kind of like walking around here and patrolling. Seeing if I can spot the last ones. That was unlucky. Yeah, the 0 out of 100 is a little wacky to me, too. I don't really know what that means. We're just going to keep patrolling around here. I want to make sure that I'm safe-ish. They might respawn. I mean, the other thing, too, we could do is, like, train stealth around these ones. But it's not really going to do me much good. Because, like, look. Lightfoot or what is it? Nimble. It's not nimble. It's sneaking. But I need a much bigger group to do that. Might not hurt to, uh... Oh, Jesus. Whoa, what is going on there? That was crazy. Zero out of 100 might be skill level. Could be. Let's see what happens as it goes up. That'd be nice. A good hunch. A good hunch. Paul Harold. Hang on a second. My cat wants to leave the room. Come on. Go along. He was actually extremely peaceful over there. That was like... I think he likes to sit on my bed for like five hours at a time. It's weird. <laughs> what was it? There was one gun channel. Was, though a lot of gun channels got shut down from uh, the YouTube... What, didn't they? Or the... Um, oh, I don't really know what I'm talking about. But some of them... I think it depended upon what type of content they made. Or, like, it's not suitable for some advertisers, which, you know, in terms of, like, retroactive stuff, is wild. Damn. I'm just noticing this about the river. Watch when I speed up time. It actually looks different. I'm not going to get snuck up on here, right? Nah. Yeah, look, you've got, like, current going on here. I imagine I would be able to appreciate that a lot better with the, uh, with the boat mod on. <laughs> but we... We did swear to play without the boats for a while until we got this uh, modless stable, which it appears it is, so that's the good news. All right, well, we used up 42 shotgun shells, which was really far too many for how many zombies were there, but it just kind of gives you perspective of, like, how much do you go through when you're clearing out one of these areas, and that's the reason why I would like to get, like, two drum mags and just a lot of bullets um, or shells or whatever I find before I clear out an area. You really don't want to be loading shells and bullets into your shotguns and guns and so on and so forth like while you're fighting in the area. <laughs> That's one of the fastest ways to get killed in this. Zero 100 is probably a skill add-on to your accuracy. I've only seen zeros. If it was a dice roll, the number would change. Maybe they, they probably have something to do with each other. Twelve is the, yes, twelve is the size of the shell, though before it put down eight, so we're trying to figure out why it uh, maybe I was I using something different before? Maybe I was. Alright, let's see if we've lost any weight. By this point in the movie, Anton Chigur has probably performed self surgery and killed several people with makeshift weapons. Uh no. Nah. Eh, Alright, well we got all that skill from watching TV. Do we get this uh Oh, cool. Wait, TV, <laughs> TV's on, guys. <laughs> it's the TV. This is how Anton watches TV. Oh, the cooking show is on. Oh, hell yeah. Love this show. Yeah. Get that cooking skill. <laughs> give, give me knowledge, television. <laughs> Oh, jeez. 
No reason to have a foreign chemical cocktail. Yeah. Person that likes the guy who takes his shirt off to build furniture. Oh, the, the things on TV. Man, the pains of daytime television. Ah, oh, we missed the last of it. That was the entire reason I'm still alive. All right, what do we have left? Cooking. Oh, actually, we did manage to get 62.5 out of the 75. We caught almost the entire show, so that was good. Uh, all right, so we got most of it. That's fine. The thing is that cooking is not that useful, but when you get to the upper levels, like the really high levels, it gets really useful because you can cook um, rotten food and like get nutrition out of it and not die, which is amazing. It's great to not die, I might add. Um, <laughs> but, ah, uh, Jesus. But yeah, I don't really have the patience for that. That's why I usually don't do it. We have can opener over here. I must have brought my can opener with me somewhere else. Oh, I think it's in the car. Genius move. Genius. Oh, no, there it is. All right, so if we go back to that place... Is it really even worth it anymore? Like, should we... Let, let's give it one more shot. Let's see if we can get the last of the guns out of that area. And then we will make a break for Fort Redstone. I feel like that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be our mainstay of this. But I don't think I'm quite ready for Fort Redstone today. It's like, that's a... That's a spicy meatball. Let's see what we have the most of. We have tw 223 REM rounds. I don't know what that takes. Or, or what takes that, rather. Um... We do have some gun cleaning cats in WD-40, so that's good. 12 gauge, 12 gauge. Um, I think we have 9 by 19 double stack magazine. Okay, so this is for the ump. Or well, UMP. Um, 45 ACP. 556. 45 ACP. 38. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Man. It's like, I'll say this. One thing about all of the gun mods is that it becomes this big ammo management um, spree. F okay, we've got 45 ACP. We have a lot that takes that. So let's take 45 ACP. And I think we'll take... Oh, wait, no, this is the wrong one, too. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, is that you spend a lot of your time just, like, managing ammo when you do this. So you have to enjoy that if you're going to play this. But we have five boxes of it. 45 ACP, double stack, magazine. Okay, the vector... This one has 13 bullets to a mag. So I'm thinking that either the Vector... I know these aren't great beginner guns, too. Which is why I'm a little, like, pissed about this. Because I was hoping to find more 12 gauge. But it just doesn't look like that's going to happen for us. Wait, wait, wait. 223 is 5... Ah, God. So some of them have different names and they're interchangeable. I know some of them are based off of... I mean, aren't some of them based off of the metric system and others are based off of Imperial? Like, for example, like, 45 cal is, like, 45 hundredths of an inch, if you want to think of it like that. Or maybe I'm just saying it wrong. Uh, where did we put the ump? Oh, I think it's on the ground floor. I just left it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that was the one that I did that with. Okay, uh, hang on a second. Let's... I don't want to bring the shotgun with me because it's really heavy. Let's just leave that on the ground. 45 ACP, we could do the vector, but uh, which one is better? I don't, th I don't think one's really better necessarily. We got, okay, six boxes. 45 ACP. Eh, I think we're fine with either one. I'm going to take the ump. That's fine with me. All right, so let's grab that, and then we'll grab another backpack. We're going to get as much as we can from this place. Um, We don't really want to spend a lot of time there either. 8, 10 a.m., it's foggy. Foggy might actually be a great weather to go back in. Um, just trying to think. Am I really going to be trying to kill a lot of them here? I'm probably going to sleep before I go again, just because I want to make sure I have full energy. Here we go, clip on back. Yeah, millimeters are pretty straightforward. Like, you know, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of guess in there, but there are some ammo types that I just kind of go like, what? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I, you know, it makes me wish that I had a better appreciation of it. Here we go. But it's a fun hobby. It's a fun hobby for the whole family. 
All right, let's just do some resting. And, you know, I'm going to bring some coffee with me, too. I have all that coffee. Might as well bring it with me. Um, only because if I do sen suddenly and randomly become sleepy, sleepiness can kill you in this game very quickly. Uh, and I don't want that to happen. I would rather not die because this game is supposed to be about being alive. So, yeah. More of it. More of that. If I could find where I put the coffee. Didn't I put it in there? It's somewhere back there. All right, if not, then I'm just a bit screwed. One last look. Nah, did I, put, did I put the coffee with the bullets or with the rifles? Nah, not happening. Okay. Could be... Ah, uh, yes, I think it's in the car still. Yep, it's still got to be in the car. All right, so we've got all of that sorted away. The only downside to this is that we have to keep changing mags. I don't want to take mags out of current guns because I think that's just going to mix me up. Um, I'm going to leave everything in, you know, where it started. And we'll just have to find more of them. <laughs> I also find it kind of hard to manage multiple mags right here. And I know that sounds weird, but it's like... Um, sometimes it's more straightforward to know what's in one. Now, do we... Is this a loaded... 0 to 13, change fire mode, insert... Oh, I don't have any... Fuck. Now we need more mags. This is, like I said, this is what you sign up for when you do this. Um, 45 ACP. It might just turn out that we don't have any mags. <laughs> now, now you see why I, why I edit my videos. Yep. Okay, now the last question is, does anything have mags? In which case, we're just back to the shotgun if we don't. Uh, let's see, 45 ACP, single stack. Would this work? I have 9 by 19 millimeter double stack. Single stack? Oh, well, because this is open box of this. Oh, maybe I just didn't have it before. Hang on a second. Let's see if single stack works in double stack requirement. I don't really know what that means. What is? Does anybody know what single stack versus double stack means? It's just that that's where my knowledge ends. Yep. I do. Yep. It doesn't work. Okay. It's incompatible. Yep. None of these had magazines in them. <laughs> All right. It's back to the shotgun. I just don't think that we have that mag on us. Yeah. Nine by nineteen millimeter single stack. Or double stack, yeah. Damn, after all that, too. Smashing. That sucks. Hey, Crazy Muffin, thanks for the 100 bits. Sorry, that took me a little while there. And Top Squatch, thanks for the raid. How'd your stream go? What were you playing? Two columns. Oh, two columns of... Okay, so then that makes sense why that wouldn't work. Thank you, I appreciate that. Unload, here we go. Equipping both hands. Thanks for the raid, Top Squatch. Welcome, Top Squatch people. Like Sasquatch? I love Sasquatches. Uh, so double stack... Oh, well, I mean, it's a good thing that it has higher capacity. It's a bad thing, though, that we don't have any of them. Um, that is actually a travesty. All right, so again, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> we're going back with... This is the reason why shotguns are such a great way to start out. Such a good reason. Keep on keeping on. Playing modded Factorio. Hey, what Factorio mod was it? I've been wanting to check out the, um, what is it? Uh, C-Block Factorio. Now, my driving is going to be at an all-time low, if you didn't think it was before. So, just watch out for that. Hey! Anorexus. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, thanks for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. Uh, here we go. Slow down over the corpse. Now, I did say that the fog would be a good thing. This is not always true. This is not always true. Simple days when it's definitely round leaf. <laughs> yeah, all that we're going to have in Project Zomboid after this is like a blunderbuss and a round piece of metal. <laughs> I remember, though, when I actually like did justice to ORGM, I had a mall playthrough and I went to the gun store in the mall. This was back with Zonix Mega Mall. Um, there was a map maker named Zonic, X-O-N-I-C. Very nice mod. It was like the Mall of America that he made. And I know that there is a big mall in Project Zomboid, but he made another one. It was very good. 
uh, there was a gun store in this mall. And the gun store had just, like, all of the guns in the game in it. But it was bananas because you had only, like, one box of ammo per shot, per gun. So you had to keep on managing all of your ammo. And I had to get, like, so fastidious. I keep using this word. And organized about um, all of my... Is that even the right... Screw it. I had to get very organized. I'm just being ambitious in my words. It's right, you know, I reach. I reach. But, um... But that was just wrong. But I had to be really organized about ammo, and it just became more of a pain than it was really worth. So that's why I'm I'm looking for, like, one gun that I could stick to as a main, even if it's not the best one for beginners. Ideally would be shotgun, you know, like some sort of modern semi-auto shotgun. Like, what was the one that we found? We found Fostec before. That was a good shotgun. And you could install the drum mag on that. I was hoping to find another one of those things again, because they're really good. Um, they do jam sometimes, but... Well, everything jams. Um, okay, now it looks like... Ah, uh, the fog would wear off as soon as we get to this place. Damn. I was hoping... I was banking on that fog, actually, that was going to save me. Now, it's more likely than not that I'm going to see more of them in there. Um, so I'm just trying to think of what the hell I'm going to do. <laughs> I have only, like, a shotgun... I don't really want to go right for the big guns when I fight them, but at the same time, I think I'm passing it by now. And I'm going to park it out here. Uh, key, key, key. Key. I'm going to take the key with me. I think we're pretty well organized. I got coffee in the trunk. If I start to get tired, I could always go run back to the trunk and take that. This is not the place. But that's okay. We can go inside of this place, too. This is we cannot go inside of this place. I take that back. I lied. I've ever played Dead Rising. Oh, Dead Rising is my jam. I think Dead Rising, although I like Zomboid better in terms of realism, in terms of, like, how it is as a storyline in a game, I might... Dead Rising might... It's kind of like Apples and Oranges, though. Dead Rising might be one of my favorite games ever made. Yep. Okay. Now. Zombies in this game deserve a discussion right here because they are notoriously attracted to inanimate objects so i'm just gonna leave those ones right there they're gonna continue doing that and they will not come after me Ooh, fostec wait that's this might be it is this it again i'm just gonna kind of take everything I'm not really looking too much some of these i might not really need i might be able to make two trips to the car here though um Hang on a second. That's 18.24 out of 15. Okay, so I'm nearly at capacity in the backpack now. Dewu handguard. I spelled guard wrong. Uh, fuck. If I could just get out of here unnoticed, that would be great. Yep, I can do that. That's totally fine. For some reason, they're still going over there. Oh, well. All right, leave them. Hoops is obsessed with a door they can't... Oh, the the door in the back. Damn. All right, I gotta I gotta focus here. Get my head in the game. Okay, I'm gonna try to load everything up into. I honestly think it's gonna be safer to go into the seats than the trunk, only because then I could drive the car around for a second, come back, and then give that a try. See, there's yeah, okay, they're coming after me. I might have had time there, but I don't really want to risk it. Let's put the scar in there. Put the Winchester. And everything from my bag is going into the trunk. Am I really going to have time for this? Oh, amazing. I can start the car while loading. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Where am I? I don't recognize any of these storage buildings. I'm in a kind of far off side of the... Uh, very far west on the map. It is in vanilla. Um, but we're using a lot of mods. This was the one I wanted, though. Fostec... I think it was this one, Origin 12. I might be able to swap this out with a drum mag. Either that or a slightly different one. I hope it's the one, because that means that we then have the best gun. Fostec with... It's Fostec something. Fostec something with... Okay, I'm, I'm not going to fire my shotgun here. I'm just going to leave this. Should we load it up? Yeah, let's load it up. What the hell? Right again. Man, they're like weirdly not getting aggroed to me very much. 
Let's park this slightly closer to the gun store. We'll park it by that other building. We run by that first building. Lose him there. Crash into a tree. I almost just crashed into another tree. Yeah, this is weird. Like, they... They don't even like me anymore. Damn, man. I thought that these zombies were into me. Now, the one stupid thing I just did with the car is I left the passenger seat uh, filled. So I could get screwed by that. I was trying not to do that. I've got one coming after me. She might remember me when I go into the store. Do I need to lose her in the... Yeah, I'm going to need to lose her in the woods. Okay, I'm going to go into the woods. Now, I did leave a few in here before, so I'm going to be careful as I go through. Go into this glade. I might not be careful enough here, but let's just see if this works. Okay, I'm going to grab the rest of the guns out of the cases. This is pretty much... I'm really being stupid right now. Okay, but I'm alive. I'm alive. That's what matters. Okay, I'm going to get pretty greedy right here. Ooh. Specifically that I want. Hang on a second. Let's just see if there's any of these mags that we needed. Oh, uh, everything looks really good in here. I want to take all of it, but we really just need the shotgun shells. I don't know what this is, but it's a shotgun and I want it. Some of Ooh, Daewoo. Ah, uh, God. This is a really nice mod. I think that this is more shotgun shells. Hang on a second. Let's equip that to our secondary. That way we... Yeah, get the shotgun... Let's get the shells into canisters in our hands. Dramatic zoom in. Hello. <laughs> hey, thanks. Thank... Thank you for enjoying the hellos. I, I put love and effort into every single hello. The videos. Though I am puzzled, a lot of people say that they watch me with their significant other. I'm like, I don't really find myself that romantic. But I, all right, you know, more of that, more of that. Thank you, I appreciate it. 45 ACP, okay, this is exactly the magazine we were looking for, 45 ACP double stack. Uh, uh M16 model arm cell striker. Okay, this looks cool, I want it. Probably just getting a lot of stuff that looks cool and isn't that great. 9 by 19 millimeter. No. Uh, Stanag is useful. That's in a lot of different guns. Might want to take that mag with me. Uh, shotgun shells. Tell Taller. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it, my friend. Very grateful. Very grateful. Am I being... Per I am weirdly not being pursued by any of them right now. I think they've gotten so caught up. Like, the weakness of this place is also its strength. Laser sight, laser sight, suppressor pistol. Suppressor on a pistol would be useful. Yep, want that. Alright. Um, I'm a little over-encumbered. I think I can handle a bit more, though. Uh, actually, I don't want to risk it. Let's just keep going out. Maybe we could make a third trip. Maybe I could be really greedy here. We go out the front? Yeah, let's go out the front. Fuck it. They don't care. They like the window. They really like that window. Damn, we just... We just dabbed on death. We just dabbed on death, baby. Psst. Psst. I have a killer voice. I think I have a gentle voice. Thank you very much. I mean, I mean, uh, no, I'm gentle, gentle. <laughs> hey, Manja, 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 thank you very much. God bless. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I might have to put down these cases of ammo. There's a lot of them right there. Though we are not winded because we managed our energy pretty well. Okay, there's a lot right there. I am going to put these on the ground. How am I going to see these later on? Fuck. We got to get unencumbered. We got to get unencumbered. I'm dropping eight shotgun shells on the ground. It's going to be worth it. You'll see. You'll all see. 
Now, this is this is a problem I have with this game, is that sometimes they guard the thing that you want to get to. Like, see right there, there was no reason why they had to be going that way. Did you see that they were gallivanting off in the westerly direction? There was nothing in the westerly direction. There is only north. There is only north. All right, we're going to have to go back and pick up those uh, boxes of ammo because those were important. There were important bullets in all of those. But this is the main takeaway. The Fostec Origin 12, this thing is nasty. And we have a drum mag to go with it. We don't need a screwdriver. We've got everything we need. What is one of the... Other than the hello, don't question it, all the SpongeBob... Oh, there will be plenty more of that. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> Appreciate that, Olvin. Sing the entire stream. You know, I had a weird idea for a... Uh, a musical. It's just, it's entirely played by Kermit the Frog. Um, and he does all of the voices of all of the parts in the musical Jesus Christ Superstar, right? So Kermit is like Caiaphas and the high priests and all kinds of other, just threatening bad people. Um, but you, it's funny because it's ironic because he's Kermit the Frog. So that's my, um, that's my idea for a musical. If anyone's willing to fund this, or just, I don't know, like, help me do it for no reason at all, um, let's get in contact. I think we could make something happen. All right, uh, enough of that. Gotta, ooh, gotta be careful. Now, I've seen this. Sometimes it happens that they will scratch you in, like, like that through the window. Jesus. They'll scratch you like that through the window. It's bad. It's bad. Okay, but we've got most of the ammo that we need. We might need to go back for a couple more boxes of shotgun shells. But honestly, if I don't have enough that I need right here, I might be kind of screwed. I really want to try out this uh, Fostec, though. This is exactly the gun that I was... <gasps> Fuck, I told you it would happen again. I told you this would happen. You know, we're just going to go in reverse. If we go in reverse, we'll avoid the temptation to crash into things. Can I do the Kermit voice? Well, didn't I do it at the beginning? <laughs> you, know, you know the part where they go to Caiaphas, though? That, that is the part... <laughs> that is the part that needs to happen in... When just hearing Kermit the Frog saying the word Pharisees is worth it. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bizarre imagination. Mostly just coming from being really annoying. Yep. Don't question this. We're just going down the road. We're trying. <laughs> we're trying to rewind time right here. <laughs> Have you guys seen? Uh, this has been getting like spam promoted on YouTube. There's this guy Stephen He, who's doing like these comedy videos. Oh, I thought those were really funny. If you haven't seen him, look it up. He does. Uh, he does the funniest videos. And this is the guy who does the Kermit voice. There probably is somebody who... I think there is a YouTuber who just does exclusively the Kermit voice, but... You know, it would finally help me make sense of being amphibian on my channel. For which I've never really had a reason. The, the reason why the channel name is Ambiguous Amphibian is because... It just... It alliterates. It, and it's like a tongue twister. Actually, the reason was because I liked the name Jacksepticeye because it just had a mouthful. And that was back when, like, those YouTubers were popular. Like, well, it's, they still are. Jack and Mark and all them. And I was like, ooh, I like their stuff. Try to make something like that. So I tried to make up a name that sounded just, like, awful to say. Like that. Like his. And that's what I came up with. Except, unfortunately, it didn't have my name in it. But I was like, eh. It's poetry. It's worthwhile. And that's why I am what I am. And that's why I'm going to name my child something awful that no one can pronounce. Like, Did you have a good day at school? <laughs> that would be the ultimate... The ultimate flex on your kids. <laughs> Just give them a name. As a future punishment for some things that you haven't done yet, I'm just going to give you a horrible name. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, this, this has gotten off topic. Alright, let's go test out those shotguns. Ah. Uh. Referring to the song that Jesus must... Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do it. I, I If I do it, I want it to be like a special event, you know? We'll make it special, I promise. 
Uh, let's see. All right, Fostec. Okay, Fostec Origin 12. This might be my favorite gun in this entire mod. At least of the ones that I've found, because it's the one that I've found that can use the uh, drum mag. But let's take out the other shotguns, because it's plausible that I'll find... Excuse me. I have the hiccups. It's plausible that I'll find another one that I like better. Um, I think the drum mag is back inside, but we shouldn't need a screwdriver, and we've got five boxes of shotgun cells. For, for Pete's sake, that should be enough. FNPS 90. There's so many mo There's so much to explore. I'm going to say goodbye to this one, probably. I'm going to unload this one because I'm going to use these shells in something else. It's a cool-looking shotgun, but it's like, uh... This one go back. This one goes back a ways. I remember this was in Call of Duty Black. Is this historically accurate? Were they? There's someone called Orange Yellow. We've had the same uh, had the same idea behind her. Tub goats, tug boats. Oh, that's a nice name though too. Tub goats, tug boats. Yeah, it's it, like it's just hard to say, and it doesn't really mean anything, you know. It just kind of invites like, well, that's a great idea. Or maybe you think it's a stupid idea, in which case. Uh, you go away, you know? Yeah, go away. That should... Every successful name does that. Now, that's hard to think of a name. The thing is that you, once you pick it, you just kind of got to stick to it. Because if you keep changing it, then nobody knows who you are anymore. <laughs> and that sucks. Yep. Here it is. Ah, this is my favorite. Uh, that satisfying sound. That satisfying sound. Ah, don't you like that? It's ASMR. The gun mods, they are. That's what it is. All right, but let, let's take a second. Arm Cell Striker and Atchison Achins, AA-12. Hey, it's AA. It's me. This is meant for me, this shotgun. You can. You can use the... That. That's the thing. Unfortunately, this one does not. But how many does this one take in it? This one has 12 per. I guess this is another tube fed. I, I, I hope I'm saying I hope I'm saying the things that I'm saying right about these. Um, it would be a real shame if I wasn't. I think. Fostec is drum mag 12 fridge. Twelve gigas. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's try out AA 12. Oh, this thing is. Oh, wait, what is this thing? Oh, this is the thing that uh, FPS Russia used to use. Do you guys remember FPS Russia? Before, he, didn't he go to jail or something? Who knows why? He, why did he go to jail? Was it because he was shooting tanks on his property? I think he did have a, <laughs> he had a lot of stuff. He had a lot of stuff in his house <laughs> that he had to explain. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. That would have been a good one, too. What do I think about that? Um, what is it? The what is? Who is? Wait, who is helping? Noise works helping with the soundscape of PZ. I think that's dope. I actually didn't know what it was. Yeah, this is the FPS Russia shotgun. Holy shit. He dual wielded AA-12s in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got busted for weed. Man, really? After all of that? Wasn't he, wasn't he from Canada? Don't you guys let people have weed in Canada or something like that? You silly Canadians. <laughs> no, I take it back about Canada. Please don't cancel me. Please. Yeah, this thing was cool. Uh, I remember FPS Russia used to... This was like his most viewed video, right? We'll bring this and we'll bring the Fostec Origin 12. Now, these ones I actually do have a purpose for. We're going to use them to clear out much of the military base. Um, my ammo and guns are just really disorganized here. But this is totally the FPS Russia gun. Damn. I wish that we could add on like his camo and stuff. And have his accent. I think, didn't, wasn't that a made-up character? He didn't actually talk like that, right? It was just, like, him being funny. Not until recently, but, oh, my God, privatization has made <laughs> these fine wines now. Yeah, no, they, um... Wait a minute, is the show on? I always carry a paper clip, guys, and so she knew it was the first thing they teach in the hour. Wait a minute, this is, like, a survivalist show. This isn't... Yeah, they say that, uh... They say that where it's been legalized, that weed is just, like, much more, um... It's, it's much better now because it's out in the open, you know? Here we go. It's too bad. I don't really see why. I mean, I personally, I don't love the smell of it. I Like, as an activity, 
you know, it's <laughs> it's not bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, like what was I gonna say? Fortunately, it's not so expensive because it is a natural substance. Here we go. Grab. I don't really see the. I don't really see the point of there being a law against it. But I mean, when you look back, it's like prohibition. They had laws against that too. I mean, that's crazy. Alcohol. Well, I don't really know about the, all the facts. I'm not, I'm not into this kind of stuff. I was a while back. I was interested in. I was like, Ooh, how can all of these substances affect my body? <laughs> and I'm just kind of like, eh. You ever hear that song? Everything is overrated great song it's kind of true the grass is always greener i'm like the anti-hippie nah though i i gotta say though there was a phase in my life where i really enjoyed thinking more about like i stopped pursuing like earthly goals of having more now this is going to sound really like high on pot news what i'm about to say right here but i started thinking more about my values than like possessions and it was actually a really nice time in my life because i was thinking more just about the experiences that i was having at rather than like um you know they say that you should spend your money more on experiences than on things and i think there's a lot of truth to that that you know experiences do stay with you i don't know what i'm trying to say what did i start off with values yeah but living your life for values instead of possessions is a, a very a very eye-opening experience because you know we spend so much time trying to accumulate things Kind of like the opposite of what we do in Zomboid. That was when I got into Neo Scavenger. <laughs> it was an experience. I possessed nothing in it, Neo Scavenger. I had one shoe. God, we should do Neo Scavenger one day, too. That one is a banger. I don't think as, I don't think as many of you guys would see it, though, if we did Neo Scavenger. It just doesn't get it the same amount of traction. One day, one day when the channel's a little bigger, we'll do Neo Scavenger. I really like Dan Feeder because when I had one subscriber, he followed me on Twitter after I showed him my stupid video. <laughs> I was like, hey, Dan, I made this video of your game. He was like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I believe in you, even though that your video is... Cr no, he didn't say any of that. He was just totally nice. <laughs> that's the uh, Neo Scavenger dev. He seems like a pretty chill guy. What am I saying? Um... Life is pay to win. Got to use money for XP. I don't know. Just, uh, well, I did a lot of weird things. I started growing up my hair, learning to skateboard and play guitar. I'm just too old for this now, though. That was back when I was like 19. I miss those days, though. I do. I miss them. Pay 90 bucks. Experiences that money. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think in, I wouldn't say focus on spending money. Your focus shouldn't be on spending money, it should be on having experiences, you know? I think living, living without, living below your means also has merits to it as well. A very good saver at that time. Yes, indeed, was a very good saver. I don't know what I'm saying. I sound like your dad right now, don't I? Except like, uh, nah, I don't really sound like your dad. I sound like your dad's friend. Oh, that's neat. Wait a minute. Where did this come in? Refuel from gas pump. That is a great icon. Has that always been in the game, or is that from a mod? Those wacky PZ developers adding in things, or maybe not adding in things, depending on how this goes. Getting attacked by a cheetah after wearing a shoe bilster. That happened to you? Damn. Well, this car is in outstanding condition. <laughs> All right, screw it. We're using the FPS Russia shotgun. I, f I totally forget FPS Russia's lines, though, because he... Oh, wait a minute. No, the... Oh, fuck. Sometimes when I have on too many mods, it starts to stutter. I thought it was doing it there for a second. All right, we're going to do a little reconnaissance run out to the, uh, the military base. I sound like your uncle. You used to have... Oh, God, no, I don't want to sound like your uncle. Taking pictures. We well, yeah, used to have fun taking pictures in the basement. What are you even saying about your uncle? Jesus. Life is pay to win. You know, I was thinking about this. Like, I was thinking about, like, my goals in life. You know, I, I think most of us just spend most of our lives trying to earn more money. You know? As Seth once said. 
I can't remember what review it was, but this is one of my favorite Snap Uh And at the same time, it's like, you know, if you kind of put yourself, if you do some visualizing, think about what are you going to do when you get there, then you better do that stuff right now because you, you're not going to, like, wait to have to have the means to do whatever it is you're going to do. Is it just me or are there... Did the zombies all get cleared away from this road? Nope. They're still there. Alright. Now, we gotta be really careful because we gotta ha still have the car for the return journey. Um, I don't want to, like, rain on your parade here. But at the same time, uh, this car wasn't in very good condition. I mean, it is in good condition. It's just that I have completely destroyed the hood. Although it still appears to be there, unfortunately. Anton looks like an off-brand Johnny Groom. Who is Johnny Groom? I don't want to know Johnny Groom. I don't sound like your dad. I sent didn't break the jumper. I sound like Squidward. Unfortunately, Squidward is the one impression I can't do. I could do Kermit the Frog. I could do, uh... What else could I do? I could do Timmy Turner's dad. Kinda. Not really. I could do Plankton. Plankton is one I, I like. But I can't do Squidward. If you can, uh, if if I could do Squidward, I would feel bad for myself. Nah, I can't do that. Had more fun as a broke student than I've had as a broke adult. That's true. Well, when you're a student, I don't know. The, the nice part about being a student is that you then have all of the people that are important to you around you. Like, if you have good roommates and you really like them, you'll be having a good time. For instance, like when I was, uh, like when I was in college, it wasn't always necessarily about what dorm you... Fuck, we're gonna hit another... No, we didn't hit another tree. All I gotta say is, fuck, we're gonna hit another tree to not hit the tree. See, that's the trick. Anyway, when I was in college, it wasn't always about the nicest dorm to live in. It was often about the people you were with. You know, all I'm trying to say is just, uh, you know, um, it's all natural, guys. You, you know, I saw those magazines in your room, and I just... I want to let you know that it's... It's okay to experience double pleasure sometimes. And it's also okay to take out your Squidward sometimes if everyone says okay at a party. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm there for you and I see that you're growing up. And uh, I, I really see something in you. You're unique. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That was my abstract monologue from nowhere. <laughs> Now, you know who did that? Uh, oh, what was that band that Buckethead used to be in? Do you guys watch? Do you guys listen to Buckethead? Magazines. Yeah, the magazines that were in your room. I saw them. I saw them. Speaking of magazines, there is, uh, there is a couple of magazines. There are a couple of magazines. I think it's in Hydrocraft, though, and they have, like, an adult magazine. And it gives you, like, 200 fun and entertainment, or whatever the stat is in Zomboid. I just thought that was a funny item. I think there should be more meme items like that. Ooh, ooh, I am off-roading. Fuck, I'm gonna hit a tree. See there? I didn't hit the tree because I said that. Causality. Causality. There's one in vanilla tool I've used, found it in you, you once and died. Well, there are some things in vanilla, or at least in the, um, hang on a second. Uh, okay, Google. Lights off. Sorry, sometimes I have to turn off the lights to get more into the game. You ever do that? Like, if you're at home alone, and you turn off the lights to get more into the silence? Like, a, in the, you know, the moodiness of your own life? Yeah, I do that. Sometimes I do that when I play Zomboid, because it really makes me feel like I'm just there. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! Where did that even come from? Hang on a second. Whoa! Whoa, holy shit, I did not see that. That was crazy. That was crazy. I was just driving along like Rapunzel and then it... That was probably the most productive three feet I've ever driven in a car. If he is Russia. <laughs> That's how we do... Oh, uh, god damn. That was FPS Russia all the time, baby. All the time. We found a digital watch on one of them. Oh, yeah, gotta go all black. Digital watch. You know what? No, wear two watches. Put this one on my right wrist. Yeah. 
That's what I call double time. Boom! Get it? Because it's two watches. Uh, get out of here! Get out of here! That was a bad joke. I've ever seen Buckethead live. I've never. I've seen his YouTube videos. Buckethead is one of my idols. I used to try to play guitar at, like Buckethead. Buckethead has weirdly. I don't mean this in a bad way, but he he has unusually long fingers, though, and I. I always felt like I wouldn't be able to play guitar as fast because I didn't have his fingers, so I, I gave up. Um, here we go, I got the good backpack. I gotta say, I really have not been role-playing the Anton Chigurh part because otherwise I would have said a lot more cool shit, but um, yeah, I don't have to, I don't have to do that. Here we go. Uh, jeans. Is there somebody else trying to sell me something back there? Hang on, no, nobody's trying to sell me anything. I don't know, um... Uh, what is it? Don't let me dry more than 50. I know, but at the same time, like, who would have seen that horde coming? That just came out of nowhere. That was... That horde came out, like, uh... I don't know. Some Something that su was surprising. I'm, I'm running out of analogies. This is, it's been a long stream. I haven't been streaming that long lately. I've been doing like two hour. But at the same time, I'm starting to see that like, you know, it's it's better to stream for longer periods of time less often. I, I would kind of aspire to that. I'd like to have like a stream day maybe or something like that. What time is it running? Oh shit, it's 9.14 p.m. I'm gonna have to get off in a bit. But let's, let's at least get to the military base and like get a, a feel for the feng shui of things, right? Why didn't I use the cruise? Why didn't I use the con Well, it wouldn't it help because I, I have bad reflexes. Really, the thing that they need to do is just allow you to look in front of the car instead of uh, sidestepping it with all of these. <laughs> I really hope that they add in that feature. Would I ever do map making stream again? Oh, I had a blast in those things. Yeah. If I were a little bit more organized, maybe if I had a couple people who were. Uh, like in a be auxiliary with the map making. I think we could put together some great maps. Really what I've been trying to do though and what I'm I think would be best if I leveraged out my skills would be to make a tutorial on it because I have gotten my feet wet in map making and it does have kind of a shortage of map making tutorials. I figure maybe when the game hits a bigger uh, stride. I just don't really feel like it would make much sense on the channel now. So much of my stuff has been more narrative based. I, I do miss doing some tutorials, though. There is... I have that teacher thing, you know. I like, I like spreading the knowledge. Alright, don't die. Don't die. God damn it. But god damn it. Wait a minute. Are you seeing what's happening here? Guys. Panning the camera forward would make driving so much easier. I do agree with you. Hey, I'm Fuscated C. Thank you very much, and that is an excellent suggestion. That, would, that was my idea. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I am depressed, guys. I have depression because Fort Redstone, for some reason, did not spawn in here. And now I'm getting... Are you seeing this, like, slight stuttering? I don't really know what's causing this. I was hoping to find a stable mod set. But alas, I have not found that. Um, and so I'm going to start driving into the woods because now we're headed to the basic, uh, military fort. Not Fort Redstone, because Fort Redstone appears to have not spawned in. And I don't know, I know not why. This is upsetting. I mean, regardless, we're going to head there anyway because it's pretty well armed. But at the same time, like, we would have been better off where we started anyway. So it's, uh, a little depressing. But, eh. Maybe we'll leave it there. You know, we'll pick it up next time. I feel like we're we're in the woods. I don't want to get too lost out here. We've got a full tank of gas, though. Our car's in decent enough condition to start. Let's just kill a few zombies out here so that we aren't quite so panicked next time. Maybe we can gain another level of skill. And damn, this thing is nasty. How much do we have? I don't want to waste too much. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go through like one mag. Yeah, that'd be good. All that for one mag. But that aiming system, though. That aiming system is nice. PZ streams get a bit twitchy, no pun intended, after about two hours of playing. Yeah. 
I feel like, uh... After a while, I'd be more prone to making mistakes. I'd want to take better care of this character. I think the one that might make sense to stream to would be this, uh, CDDA. I've also got all these keys that I've got from, uh, Keymailer that I really want to go into, because there's just so many games that I just haven't had a chance to follow up on. So that might be something that we could do. I mean, you're looking for a stable mod set on an unstable branch, sort of a <laughs> Sisyphean task. Is that how you say it? Sisyphean? It's like Sisyphus? I... That is... That is a wonderful... A wonderful phrase. Damn, I'm surprised that we still aren't hitting some of these, though. Yeah, we'll go through another mag. Damn, surprised that we didn't hit that one. There we go. Maybe this thing is just shorter range than I expected. Yeah, look at that. Damn. That's a little bit better. Did we at least get the first level of aiming? This thing doesn't appear to have as quite as much of a spread as the other ones that we were using, though. Bill Burr would be disappointed. Alright. Well, damn. I think we're actually going to leave it there for today, guys. Uh, that was fun. I'm, I'm glad that we got started on, like, a solid series. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Our multiplayer is released. Who would I collab with? A bunch of my friends. I want to get a... Uh, actually, we've got, like, a little group. We've had it on the side for a while. Uh, yeah. A lot of things we're looking forward to. But, everybody, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. Um, more of these Zomboid streams to come. Um, hopefully, as multiplayer approaches, we'll have more of them. Uh, if you guys want notifications or anything, the Discord is below. I would really appreciate it uh, if you... If, if you do use it, um, it is there. 